Hey guys, we are talking transformations today and specifically in this video, we are going to do a reflection. We're going to reflect this shape over the y-axis. If you are needing some other transformation videos, I will link a playlist for you in the corner. All right, we want to take this shape and reflect it over the y-axis. There's kind of two ways I like to think of reflecting. One is if this y-axis were a mirror, what this shape would look like on the other side. The other way I like to think of it is if this shape was like wet paint or something or a stamp, and I were to fold this across or along the y-axis and unfold it, what the shape would look like on that side, all right? So to figure that out, it's actually pretty easy. What I am going to do is if I were to just think about this, if my original point here is negative two up seven, to get it across the y-axis, I'm just gonna go not negative two, but positive two and up seven, right? Wouldn't that be a reflected point? So if I think about that for a minute, that means my y point in my ordered pair is staying the same. My x is changing, but the number's not changing, just the sign. So a way to write that would be if my original point is x, y, the point on the shape that is reflected over the y-axis is going to be negative x or changing the sign of x and y stays the same. That is for my reflected shape. So the first thing I'm going to do is figure out all of these original points. All right, there are my original points. Now, to get the shape that is reflected over the y-axis, I'm just going to change x's sign. So here, x is a negative 2, so we're going to have positive 2, and y stays the same. I'm going to change x's sign, so it's negative, so it's going to be positive, and y stays the same. Change that negative 9 to a positive 9, and y stays the same. Change the negative seven to positive and y stays the same. All right, now let's go ahead and plot those points to make sure that, you know, we did it right. All right, that is looking pretty good to me. But let's go ahead and connect the dots. All right, there we go. Does that look like the y-axis is either a mirror or I folded along it? I think it looks pretty good. All right, if you need some more transformation videos, I will link a playlist for you. Thanks.